trying to get my boots on. This guy keeps jumping in my lap. I got, like he's not in my way. See, look. I'll take him. I'm going to set him over here in the passenger seat. See that? He's, he's not quite small enough. I heard a comedian years ago talk about the some of the... <laughs> Look, I'm going to set him over here in the passenger seat. <laughs> I heard a comedian years ago. I don't remember his name. Uh, but, you know, someone could probably find it if they look. It's, uh, and it seems like it was on Star Search or something. Uh, but he was talking about um, having a little dog, like a chihuahua. I'm not... But he was talking about a small dog and about how easy it was to take care of them because when they got to go to the bathroom, all you got to do is roll the window down and squeeze, hold them out the window and squeeze them. <laughs> what are you looking at? Look at all that grass. All that grass you can pee on and, and poop in and, and eat. <laughs> Well, hey there, my name's Jimmy Cole, and I'm the Traveling Man. Since 2009, I've been sharing my experiences on the road as a long-haul trucker on YouTube under the handle Dooner Livingstone. Since that time, I've driven some of the coolest trucks, hauled some of the most awesome freight, and met some of the most awesome people. In this industry, you gotta be tough. It'll chew you up and spit you out. Learn to improvise, adapt, overcome, deal with emotion, dealing with crappy equipment. We got many miles behind us and many more to go. So jump in, strap in, and let's get to trucking. Man, I am really blessed to be working in a career field that I enjoy. I love it. Not only do I love it, but I received proper training. I also enjoy the professionalism involved from, from the uniforms to the way you tie down a load, tarp a load, everything about it, the way you take care of your truck. It's been rough on me lately with how rough this truck's been treating me, but hey man, I'm gonna get over it soon. We got shit to do. So I thought I might just talk about that today. Professionalism, uniforms, flip flops. So, I mean, I kind of think a uniform is a proper thing to wear when you're working. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think everybody should wear one if they don't want to wear one, but I still think you should dress for the job, as they say. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, in this this field you gotta have uh, you gotta have steel toe boots you gotta have a high vis vest in most areas high visibility for those of you that don't know high vis vest let me stop it here I don't know what this guy's on me to do I was looking at an ad a couple days ago. Um, um, for TMC. Um, and 
TMC's always been a squared away company. They've always been, you know, I've heard them uh, describe themselves as like the Marines of the of trucking or some some shit like that. You know what I mean? And, um, well, anyway, they're still a good company. I, I know what they're saying. Uh, but anyway, I saw they had they had their their trainers have a hard get, are given a hard hat after they're finished with their training to become a trainer, and it's a hard hat similar to to mine, and, except it's black. And these are really they can be anyway. I've worn this before and been like you know, no oh, man, I feel like a drill sergeant. You know, you know, I feel like a drill sergeant. I, Show me your war face! Bullshit! I bet you can suck a golf ball through a garden hose! Well, now, now, TMC's trainers have a hat just like that. <laughs> I think it's kind of cool. I think TMC's a good company. As far as what I can see from the outside looking in. I'm talking about this because I want you to be involved. I would like to know what you guys think and you can do that by either the viewer's voice. You send it, send me a short video, unedited video, to me on Facebook or Instagram through Messenger, and um, I'll put it up if you know you're not being loony. But if, or you can leave it in the comment section. So leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Here's what I think. The flip-flops and shorts and shit. Who gives a fuck what you're wearing when you're off duty? Don't go checking in somewhere in your flip-flops and pajamas. But man, I'm off duty. What do you care? I just got out of the shower. I had fucking uh, jungle rot on my right foot for damn near 20 years. I picked it up over in Kuwait. Could not get rid of it until a friend of mine who is a an army ranger hey man put your feet in some apple cider vinegar just do it every day till it goes away and it went away like after two weeks 20 years damn near it of having jungle rot on my foot uncle sam couldn't help me a podiatrist a civilian podiatrist couldn't help me but freaking army ranger uh, former army ranger helped me out and uh so, I'm telling you, going through that experience, uh, I'm going to make sure I don't get that shit again. And keeping them wrapped up in these damn boots, no, that's how you get it. That's one way to get it. <coughs> anyway, they're done. I'm going to go do a walk around the trailer. Be right back. That's the thing. Thank Well, we made it over here to Olive Branch, Mississippi, where we're going to be loading up for six stops over in Southern California. Pedro's just going to keep it cool in the cab while we load the wagon here. These are acrylic sheets they use to make hot tubs. Like I said, we're going to be going out to Southern California. We got Pomona. Uh, Santa Fe Springs, La Mirada, Anaheim, and a couple in San Diego. Now look, I got my uh, axles closed. This is a company trailer here for Jimmy Tucker. I might have to open it back up because I went and weighed them like 600 pounds over back there. I'm like 34,560. If I spread it back out, I'll be at 40, but I'll be illegal in California, so I'm going to close it back up when I get to California. I'm going to do some finagling here and there. But, uh, I just got to tarp this load and shut up.
so we're all nice and done up. You know, one of these days I'm gonna get some step deck freight here on this step deck. So that day comes, I guess I'll just whine about it. Time for a break. Are you hungry? You hungry? All right, let's get it under here. Sure is a good dog. I sure am glad I found him. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to uh, want to catch up with you. What do you think about uniforms? Do you think uniforms is a good thing? Do you think it's a waste of time? Do you think it's stupid? I don't care what your opinion is. We don't all agree on everything, and it'd be nice if we went back to a, a world where you can disagree with somebody, and it be and it's okay. You're not gonna become enemies now. You know the dumb. Uh, well, I don't need to get into that, but uh, it was like that at one time, believe it or not. But um, and flip flops. Off duty wearing flip flops. Can I just let my feet breathe in peace without catching your opinion? How about you brush your teeth? How about you get them teeth in your head taken care of? God gave you those teeth to for you to take care of to last you a lifetime so you can eat. <laughs> How about you take care of your teeth and quit worrying about my damn flip flops? <laughs> I don't know. Well, it's Thursday, and I think uh, we're going to end up posting this video a little early. I mean, I never have a schedule anyway. I'm a truck driver, man. I got too much shit to do to be worried about these videos. I'd go crazy if I didn't make them, though. And I'd like to thank you for watching. I, I really appreciate it. And, um... Uh, tell me what you think, viewer's voice, or leave me some comments, and we'll move, we'll keep going on to the next thing. The comment section is yours. Go crazy. Bye. <laughs>